welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be a fall glam makeup tutorial. So I did get a palette in the mail that I know you guys are going to get excited about because I know like anything Kylie Jenner does, people go crazy over it. And she recently launched the bronze palette, which is this one here. And I absolutely love it, guys. I like it because it has a mixture of like earthy rich tones wearable shades it's a neutral palette there's a little bit of shimmer in here too but nonetheless it's still a very wearable palette either if you want to go soft and just soft beauty or you want to do something more dramatic like i'm doing here today and i also wanted to show you guys um i do a little bit of a demo in the video you've seen the new anastasia Beverly Hills uh, stick foundations that I absolutely love as well. So I'm using so many like holy grail awesome products today that got me really excited. In particular, guys, um, I'm really loving that they have like banana as, you know, like the yellow banana underneath highlight. And they also have a few other shades like Fawn and Mink, which are a little bit darker that you can use to contour. And what else am I using that's really awesome? Oh yeah, um, this I actually got last summer and a lot of people were asking about it during the summer because I have a gold one. So this one I got at Sephora. It's a Touch in Sol uh, metallic and glitter duo set and I am going to be using the glitter side because it's a beautiful copper color that I added for the top. So with that being said, let's jump right into the look. So first I'm starting off with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion all over the eyelid. Blend that with the ring finger and also on the lower lash line. I'm using the new Kylie Bronze Palette and I'm going to start off by picking up this soft nude color which is going to go as the highlight right underneath the highest part of my eyebrow and along the whole eyebrow actually and just blend that down. And then I'm taking this sort of burnt sienna color um, and that's going to go on the crease and I'm using a fluffy blending brush um, and what I'm doing is actually blending it onto the crease and the brow bone but I am going to extend it out. Um, usually I just concentrate on the socket but I'm going to blend it out so we can open up my eye. And I'm also using the same color with the same brush and applying that on the outer corner of my lower lash line. This is the next color that's also going to be applied with the flat shader brush. This is the shimmer color that we're applying and it's going to go all over the eyelid, stopping right where the crease begins. So now to make this look fall smoky, I'm taking a blending brush and mixing these two eyeshadow colors which are also matte. I am going to blend that right onto the crease in the brow bone area as well and like I said before, blending outward instead of keeping it all in like the socket area so I can open up my eye once again with the same color. And I'm applying this color right on the lower lash line as well just like that with the same brush. And then I'm taking this Touch and Soul uh, Metallic and Glitter Duo and I'm taking the glitter side of it. And I am having a lot of fallout because I didn't use the, um, like the creamy side of it to have the glitter adhere to it. But actually Actually, um, since I don't have my foundation, that's totally fine because I'm just going to wipe it out and it still does stick on to my eyelid. So I'm just going to pat it with the applicator that it comes with and just take a facial wipe and wipe away all of the fallout of the um, glitter. And then I'm taking this rich, creamy brown eyeliner pencil by Makeup Geek and I'm going to use this to add some color to my waterline and then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and add some more of that burgundy color that I have on the crease and I'm going to blend that on the lower lash line to make it nice and smoky and to also blend out that eyeliner. And I'm just going to curl my lashes with my Tarte Lash Curler and apply some falsies like I told you guys. These are actually different. They're not the ones that I'm rocking in the beginning of the video, but um, whatever lashes you choose, go for them. 
And then I'm taking this eyeshadow color with a small detail brush from Zoeva and that's just going to go in the inner, inner tear duct to really brighten it up. This is a new mascara that I actually really love from Maybelline because the wand goes all the way, like it goes really close to the lashes, like to the base and root of the lashes and it gets right in there and it makes them really nice and separated. So add one layer to the bottom ones and then I'm using the Bye Bye Pores Face Primer which I am so obsessed with. If you have any issues with pores, add this little baby to your T-zone. I actually blended this all over my face because it gave me such a smooth canvas for the foundation and you won't be able to see your pores since I am going to be rocking a highlight. Now I'm taking my foundation from Anastasia. These are absolutely amazing guys. It's so creamy and I'm going to start by blending my foundation shade all over my face um, just by drawing some lines all over it on my forehead and then I'm just gonna buff it out with a buffing foundation brush. And now I'm taking the banana foundation stick and I'm gonna use this to highlight and I am going to just apply this underneath my eye area. What I particularly love about these is that they glide onto the skin so easily and when you blend them into your face, they don't look or feel heavy, yet it gives you coverage and it gives you a highlight or a contour for whatever the case you might be, um, whatever it is that you're looking for. I'm taking the dark one also. I'm gonna contour a little bit here and there, and I'm just gonna blend this all out with a beauty sponge and a blending brush. Next, I'm taking the Airspun Loose Face Powder that I got at the drugstore. This is such an amazing product if you want to set your concealer because it prevents creasing. Like, honestly, any product that you put underneath your eyes, this little powder is going to work its magic and it's going to set it without creasing or making it look cakey and stuff. So I'm going to apply and then I'm going to switch to the Ben Nye Banana Powder right on top of this to just make it extra flawless since we are going above and beyond with makeup today. And then I'm taking this duo by Charlotte Tilbury and I'm only going to be using the Sculpting Bronzing Powder with an angled brush by um, Circa Beauty. And I'm just going to chisel out more cheekbones in here, just make that definite, uh, define the cheekbones a little bit more. And then I'm just gonna start by dusting off the powder very slightly and gently off my face. Just make sure that it's 100% removed, guys. It's very important because you don't wanna have a layer of powder sitting there. And then I'm using this ColourPop highlighter, which I am so obsessed with. This is probably my latest favorite highlight. It's so pigmented and it just like makes you gleam. And now this is the Lip Duo. This is a new color of lip liner and lipstick from Liquid Lipstick from Kylie Jenner. And this is in Love Bite. This is the color that you guys were asking about in the last video where I was talking about like personal updates and I only had mascara on. It's this beautiful, earthy, rich, uh, sort of deep, deep purple, red. I don't even know how to describe it, guys. It's a really beautiful color for fall and you guys were all asking me about it on my last video. So this is the one that I wore and I'm just gonna line my lips and then just fill them in with the liquid lipstick. And last but not least, I'm just going to remove any makeup from my beauty marks to make them nice and visible. So 
hopefully you guys enjoyed today's makeup fall glam tutorial. One thing I really want to know from you guys in the comment section today is what kind of videos do you guys want me to do for Halloween? Um, what costume, what character? Let me know in the comment section because Halloween is my favorite time because I get to be creative and like do what I call acting a little bit. So let me know in the comment section what characters you guys want me to do and I will be sure to make it happen. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it and check out dulcecandy.com if you guys want to see um, pictures and product info, all of that info in case you missed anything throughout the video and you want to purchase something or whatever. Um, I'm going to hook you guys up and I'm going to put it on my website. So go check it out. I'll leave the link down below and I'll see you guys on my next one. Have a wonderful and beautiful day. Bye.